Hi, welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV, and this is the aftermath. <laughs> We're coming for you, we're coming for you, Tottenham Hotspurs, we're coming for you. <laughs> that was the chant yesterday from all the fans, Tottenham Hotspur, we're coming for you. Uh, it was a great day yesterday, great atmosphere and a really great victory by Arsenal. I'll tell you what, the last 20 minutes of that game, I don't think I've been as nervous as that all season. I mean, we were under the cosh. Big Mertesacker got sent off. He got caught slightly out of position and uh, had to bring down the player and give away the um, penalty and give away the red card. He took one for the team. Fabianski nearly saved it, but didn't. Went to 2-1 and boy, were we under the cosh. And those were massive three points. Mass regardless of what Tottenham and Chelsea do, those are massive three points because what it's doing is putting pressure on Tottenham, it's putting pressure on Chelsea, and if we just keep winning from now till the end of the season, we will get into the top four. So it was a massive three points yesterday, and the fans knew it, the players knew it, and I was just really pleased with the defending again, the way we ground it out. We rode our luck at times, don't get me wrong, we rode our luck because, as I said, they had us under the cosh, there was a chance that Lukaku had the eye for, oh, you know, I couldn't believe that he missed it. But you need that sometimes in football. And we got it yesterday and I was really, really impressed with the grit and determination that our boys showed. Atmosphere at the game was brilliant, especially from the Arsenal fans singing all game. I mean, the West Brom fans were quiet because we were dominating the game, really. I mean, you may watch these games sometimes on Match of the Day. I was watching the highlights yesterday on match of the day. And if you watched the highlights, you would have thought to yourself, it was an extremely even game. When it really wasn't, if he was at the game, Arsenal, after the initial scare when Riziki cleared the ball off the line, we were in full control. And even at 2-0, you thought we were going to score 3-4. And then we give away that penalty, down to 10 men, and the game just completely changed. And that's what we love about football. Thomas Rizicki yesterday, absolutely brilliant. Now, people have been talking this week about Gareth Bale getting injured and Lennon getting injured and what's going to happen to Tottenham. You know, listen, what you've got to remember with Arsenal, Jack Wilshire, our talisman, he's been out injured. Theo Walcott's been out injured. Players that have come in, the squad players, like Rizicki, have stepped up to the plate. He's been brilliant since he's come in. Yesterday, two fantastic goals and that clearance off the line that kept us in the game when it was still nil-nil. I mean, Riziki yesterday, man of the match performance, absolutely brilliant. Jovino, who's come in for Walcott, yet again, another excellent performance by him. Taking on players, he set up the first goal. All right, some people may have said it was a shot, but he got into the position. He, he took players on, turned them inside out, put the cross in. And generally throughout the game, another good performance by him. And he's been good since that game against Bayern Munich. And it's the players, the squad players that are coming in that are doing really well. Fabianski, flapped a bit yesterday, but again, has come in for Chesney and has done the business. So the Arsenal squad at the moment is really performing. Monreal, you know, who's coming when Gibbs got injured. You know, so full credit at the moment to the Arsenal squad Excellent performance yesterday. I even heard yesterday a song that I haven't heard for a long time at a game, and that was There's Only One Arsene Wenger. Fans were singing that yesterday, so you know that good times are coming back when you hear that. Let's get into the tweets and see what uh, you had to say about the game yesterday. Uh, Met AFC Christoffi says, Good victory. The boys realised we, need, we needed those vital three points and put in an amazing shift. Momentum is with us now. I agree with that. Uh, David uh, AFC 68 says, Very tense last 20 minutes, but we hanged on and stood firm. Well done, Arsenal. Keep winning. That's all we can do. That is true. That's all we can do. Curtis Burton says, um, Riziki is like our own Wigan. He's invisible for the first half of the season. <laughs> uh, then uh, That's when he gets going in March. That's when he starts to play. I like that one. <laughs> um, I mean, Riziki has been injured, but 
I've always liked Thomas Rosicki as a player and he showed yesterday. I mean, that's what we've not seen enough of him from him at Arsenal. Goals. I remember when he first came to Arsenal off the back of uh, excellent Euros, he'd score, he was scoring goals and the goals have really dried up for him and he's had so many injuries, but he is a quality player. Um, Hansa Wahid says, uh, wouldn't have been an, away, an Arsenal away performance without that tense period at the end, but we dug in and got those vital three points. Uh, Danny Meehan says, fantastic victory. Standing at the back, I thought that we were going to get a 2-2. Uh, it was a back-to-the-wall style game. Other years, we wouldn't have won that. And quite a lot of fans that I interviewed yesterday were reflecting on that. That, you know, last year or the year before, we wouldn't have won that game. We would have drew. We, we, we would have capitulated. But we, there and against Swansea, we're holding out for these victories. And that's what is a really good sign when we're going to these very difficult away grounds. Um, Kane Deegan says, Arsenal are showing courage and passion to win like the old Arsenal. Need now a few more players this summer. Now, I can't agree more with that, um, Kane. I just think, I look at that team and I say, yes, the team there, you can see that is a good squad. It just needs a few world-class players. That big, dirty, hardcore holding midfielder, leader there, that world-class attacker. You know, we've got a good, Giroud's a good player, Podolski good player, but we need that world-class attacker in there as well <clears throat> if we're going to challenge Man United next season, if we're going to go far in the Champions League. And that's what we all want to do. We don't want to just be beating West Brom. We want to be challenging for the title. Uh, Paul Manson says, uh, team are showing that they do have what it takes. They're playing superbly at the moment. Keep this group together and with one or two additions, we can do something. Again, he's reflecting that. Miguel Pinto says, a great win to put pressure not only on Spurs, but Chelsea too. We're forgetting about Chelsea. Um, everybody's saying, even me, myself, Spurs were coming for you. They're our great rivals, obviously. But Chelsea got very, very hard running. Lots of games. We can really put a lot of pressure on Chelsea. I mean, Chelsea could be the team that falls away. You never know. He says, amazing performance by all the team, especially Riziki again. And Zamario says, uh, um, out of all the sick note players, Riziki is the best. Injury after injury, but his class has never diminished. And I agree with that. I really like Riziki as a player. And as I said, he's come in and he's done the business. And we haven't even really, you know how good he's played? We haven't missed Jack Wilshire. And that tells you something that we haven't missed Jack Wilshire and we haven't missed Fia Walcott because of Jovino's performances. So well done to those players. Absolutely brilliant. And of course now, the next game, Norwich at home, very winnable game. Norwich, of course, they're near the bottom, so they're fighting for their lives. But definitely a winnable game. The players will be up for it. The fans will be up for it. Only a few um, home games left. The fans are really going to be up for it. So hopefully they'll get out there, put in a really strong performance, get three points, and then again, it's more pressure on Chelsea and Spurs. They don't play till the Sunday again. So, Arsenal can keep putting the pressure on week after week after week. And I'm confident now that we're going to get into that top four. I really am. Just to tell you that uh, tomorrow night we're going to be doing a hangout. We're going to be doing that hangout at 10 o'clock GMT, all right? 10 o'clock GMT, the hangout. All the details are below. Um, if you want to join that hangout, I know we've had loads of people recently saying they want to get involved. Just come to the page, join the hangout. We want as many people as possible. Um, Instagram, keep sending us in those photographs. We're loving all those photographs. Again, all the details are below. The t-shirts, if you want to purchase our t-shirts, get into our online shop, have a look at the t-shirts. We're actually got a new supplier now for our t-shirts, so they're all going to be dropping down in price as well. So that's great news. The supplier that we had before was a bit pricey. We found a better supplier, so the T-shirt is going to be available a lot cheaper as well. This week, we're going to be doing an Ask Robbie as well. If you want to ask me some questions, send your questions in to me, and I'll try and answer them as best as I can, all right? So we're going to be doing Ask Robbie this week, so make sure you send us in a question. And don't forget, check out all of our videos from um, yesterday's game. Absolutely brilliant. Fans yesterday were fantastic. The sun was shining. We haven't seen that for a long time. So the atmosphere was brilliant. And fans really reacted and gave us some, some really excellent interviews. 
there's one interview that we did with this little kid. He was he was blinding. He was. Uh, you've got to watch that. And his message for Tottenham. <laughs> I'll tell you, that was really funny. And for all you saying, where's Bully? What happened to Bully? Bully didn't actually make the game yesterday. He was uh, unable to attend the game yesterday. But I'm sure he will be back against Norwich. And he'll be telling you as it is. Thank you very much for tuning into the Aftermath. Arsenal, well done. Just keep it going. Keep it up. And we will get into that top four. <laughs>